why you should date women below 30 and over 50. Hi, Shop Game coming at you with another episode from ChooseYourRelationships.com. Offer of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com. So this is a question I got from a long-time subscriber. He wanted to know what age group of women you should spend most of your time with, date, girlfriend, someone you probably want to get married to one day and settle down and have kids or whatever. So I'm going to give you a couple scenarios. You know, um, let's say you're 28. 28 years old dude. I would date women in the 20s. You know, because let's just face it, most women in the 20s, they don't really have no baggage. Very little. I mean, it's rare that you, yeah, they ain't got, you're going to meet some 20-year-old women got issues. Maybe they, maybe they miss a couple hugs growing up, they didn't get enough attention, yeah. But they don't really have no baggage. Like women in the 30s got baggage. Women in the 30s got all kinds of problems going on. Not all of them, but there's a lot of them. They have problems, and they're not going to tell you. If you meet a 35-year-old woman, 40, late 30s, she's not going to tell you that she's popping pills. She's not going to tell you that she had health problems prior a few years back. She's not going to tell you all that. A woman in the 30, in the 20s, you don't really have to worry about all that. She ain't, nine times out of ten, she ain't never been sick in the 20s. It's rare. Doesn't happen often. Unless, unless she's living a savage life. You know, you know, just reckless. But for the most part, the average 25-year-old woman, she ain't never been sick. Not really wrong with her. Really. So, if I'm in, if I'm 28, stick to dating women in the 20s. Now, if you're 35, 40 year old dude, I was. It's two groups. Either you're gonna date women in below 30s, or over 50. Now, some people say, well, why over 50? Because when you date women in the 30s and 40s, there's, a, there's this too much tension. There's head button and you're going back and forth. Or you, you know, it's that tension and that, and all that's because of the baggage that she has and the baggage that you got. All y'all got baggage in the 30s and 40s. 30s and 40s, people are trying to do something. Because there's a certain amount of time that women have and the clock is moving and they're going back and forth and mom said this, dad said that, and grandma said this, and uh, you know, she's all over the place. And you gotta hear all what all these other people said. That's how it is in dating. That's why you shouldn't date a woman that's really in the 30s and 40s. Now, there's always exception to the rule. I know. But for the most part, if you date a woman that's in the 30s and you're 35, that's what you're going to have to deal with. You know, the, the, the head buttoning and the going back and forth. It, it's a power shift. and That's what you're going to have to deal with. There's no way around it. If you're dating a woman that's in the 30s and 40s, you know, there's always exception to the rule, but for the most part, that's what you're gonna get. Now, if you date a woman that's in the 50s, by the time women are over 50, sometimes even before 50, late, sometimes late 40s, they pretty much already stopped dreaming. They know what it is out here. 
they ain't really trying. Her mindset is different versus being in the 30s when she was 35. Whatever she don't have by 50, she pretty much already gave that up. <laughs> so, a 50-year-old woman, you can get along with her like she's in her, like she was in her 20s. She's easy going. She ain't really trying to got too much drama going on. Maybe she got a little drama going on, but it ain't that serious. Yeah, she it ain't gonna blow up like it would if she was twenty five. You know, it so it kinda starts all when she hits fifty, fifty two, it's like a new beginning for her. It's kinda like when she was twenty five. So it's like Dating a 25, a 27-year-old woman and dating a 50-year-old woman, 52-year-old woman, it's, 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 it's going to be fun. It's going to be easy going. You know, it's no, not a lot of, you know, not a lot of this head button going on. And, you know, <laughs> that's what you're going to, that's, if, it's, it's not a lot of that. It's kind of like, you know, we can get to know each other, like really get to know each other. I don't really, I'm not really trying to um, perpetrate and fake the funk. You know, it's not a lot of that. I mean, she'll um, look up to you in some ways, you know, she probably learned something from you. You know, so that so, and if you're forty, in the forty, same thing. You know, I would date women below thirty, over fifty, same thing. Nothing changed, and don't let people try to shame you. Try to be, hey, you robbing the cradle and all this. Ah, that's a bunch of crap. You robbing the cradle. She's too young for you. You're forty. And she's 28, 29. Yeah, she's too old. She's too young for you. Don't let people... That's a bunch of crap. <laughs> Don't let people shame you in doing that. Meanwhile, those same people, if they had a chance to date, uh, you know, somebody older or somebody younger, they would do it. And they would never let you know about it either. But they... The reason why they try to shame you in most cases, a lot of times, is jealousy. And then sometimes you're doing something that they really want to do, but they just don't have the balls to do it. That's all that is. Or you're doing something and they don't feel like you should be doing it. And we can take this to the next level. They feel like you shouldn't be doing it. Now, because of who you are... You know, your who the, the group you affiliated with, um, because you're black. You know, it could be anything. They they feel like you shouldn't be doing it <clears throat> because of your status in society. All kind of stuff. A lot of this stuff is political, and that's where that hate comes from too. Sometimes, you know, it's like as long as you're like if you're a, a, a celebrity, if you're like a um. Somebody on television or of celebrity status, an entertainer, oh, you can date whoever you want. You know, that that's how people see, you know, they'd be, oh, he's an entertainer, he's famous or whatever. And they'd be like, oh, it's okay. But if, a, if it's somebody that ain't on TV, oh, it's a problem then. That's what it's, ah, he's out of his league or whatever. Out of whose league? It ain't my league. I ain't invent no league. I'm in my own league. <laughs> so you got to be careful with that. So don't let people shame you and try to put you in a box. And try to make it seem like what you're doing ain't supposed to ain't supposed to be, ain't supposed to happen. A lot of women do this. A lot of men, men and women do this. A lot of people from other these other groups, 
come over here from these other countries. They do that a lot, boy. I, I, I ran into that. Whenever, you know, this is one reason why I don't tell a lot of people a lot of stuff that I do in my personal life. Because, because I used to do that. And what used to happen is these same people would use the information against me. And they got me fired and all kinds of stuff. So you got to be careful with that. It's a lot of the hate is real out here, man. I'm telling you. The, the, I always look at it. I look at it like this: the, the less people know about me, the better off I be. Unless I'm trying to get to know you or something like that. But you know, that's a video for another day. So hey, date women below thirties and over fifty. If you're in your thirties, forties, and if you're a man. And if you're in your twenties, just date women in the twenties. Don't date no woman in the thirties. Now there's always an exception to the rule, but I'm just telling you how 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 it usually works out out here. The baggage is real. <laughs> you know? So hey, tell me the age group of women that you date. And tell me your experience below. And if you like this video, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, click the little bell below. That way when I come online, you'll be able to catch me live and ask me any questions that you want. So until next time, I'm out. Peace.